we are picking our executive who will help this party lead in central region. And I hope and I pray that we will pick competent people who will lead us. Central region is a very important region because it's a swing, it's a swing region. But NDC has made quite a lot of stri- uh, strides in it, and I hope and pray that we'll pick the right people, and from there we'll go and win the region. And that will result in the NDC winning the national election. Voting for people who, who, who are focused and who means for us to win this, win more seats in Central Region for 2024. Basically, that's what it is. Everybody, there are about 47 aspirants who are standing. And you know, once somebody say, decides to get people that they want to stand, because they have something in them. But eventually, the numbers, the, the spaces are not enough for everybody. So I think let the best person win. Ask the person, say, where are the men? Not even the women. They say, where are the men? Do you remember? So where are the men to fix the country? When the people are asking for the country to be fixed, it's very important. And it is, when you come into leadership, you are supposed to solve problems and solve challenges and let people, let, the, let things roll on as people expect. Because right now, so many people are focused on the hardship that even things that they are supposed to be doing on a normal day, they are distracted from it. As for Ghanaians, if everything is fine, they're minding their own business and they're going about their life. So when the hardship comes to um, accentuate what is exactly happening, then you see there's a big problem. And I think that the government has to get themselves together. And they have to get their, their house in order for that hardship to be remedied in the shortest possible time. And stop blaming Russia and Ukraine war. Next time they will start saying that even in space we have problems that are coming from space. So that's, that's what it is. But it, it stop, stop the blame game. You know, you have, recent, you have pushed the levels of debt to astronomical heights that it has never happened in this country before. And you don't see anything wrong with it.